Oh, we're gonna talk to Preston Garvey. Perfect. How convenient. I'm here already. You're tied. You're tied to this place. I tell you. Give cool. me some drugs. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Why did you do that? Once Preston? folks that have some weird. place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. We'll find out what they need. As usual, I got somewhere else for you. All right. Sure thing, buddy. What's the new one called? Oberland Station. Oh, I've heard of that place too. I know where that is actually. I'm probably not going to do that right now. What else could I do? Find the railroad. Talk to Piper. Investigate the Brotherhood of Steel airship. Listen to Valentine's Detective Agency radio. Oh no, that's the other DLC. Obtain the key to Earl Sterling's house. I think you gotta talk to the mayor for, about that, and he's probably not gonna want to do that. Hmm. I don't really have that much right now. I could go talk to Piper. Or investigate the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know. I don't really want to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Maybe I will just go find the railroad. Let's go talk to Piper. Then we can go... Maybe to that vault next to it. Oh. There we go. Diamond City. A city of diamonds. If diamonds were made of poop. I think I got paint for that guy. Oh, I might have got rid of it, actually. Because it was... I bet it counts as junk. So I probably... Put it in my dash, unless it counts as misc. Oh, it does count as misc. Look at that. Oops. Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill anybody. Uh, not just anybody. <laughs> uh, maybe somebody. Hello, Never Piper. Thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Is that... Is that how that works? Piper. Or anyways. Uh, no. What? No. How do I... You know what? Never mind. You know where to find me. But... Do I have to take her as a companion to do this? What is this quest? Isn't this the one where I just have her, like, uh... We do an interview? Hey, Piper. Heading my way? No. I'm not heading your way. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. But I want you to write the paper. Maybe if I take her as my companion, she'll figure it out. Uh, all right, sure. fine. Let's go. I'll use well, Piper for a while. Traveling with Piper is not for the faint of heart. I'd know. Nick, you always know just what Sorry, to say. Valentine, I don't mean to make you so jealous. Just go hang out in Sanctuary Hills, why don't you? Don't go putting on my power armor now. Hey. Where to? Can we talk now? Enough, Blue. I don't know. Um, yes. Yeah. Holding up. Look, I'm great. I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look? dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. Besides, I'm right. already following you around. Might as well get some quotes while we're at it. All right. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's I'm in. down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Uh, well, pretty normal. It's frozen and ice. Normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Normalcy is a bit of a <laughs> relative concept in the Commonwealth, but okay. Nothing crazy. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. <laughs> Give her the worst How does interview. it compare to your old life? Uh, it's fun to, well... Hmm. How do you think? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? Oh, that was kind of an answer. I thought that was a question. A I didn't even ask a question. 
can't say I blame you. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. That was an answer. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? I don't know. People ignore kidnappings? Uh, get revenge. Should I? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? People ignore kidnappings? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? <laughs> yeah, Lou, you haven't noticed? You grow up in the Commonwealth and eventually someone is going to get taken. No. Nope. <laughs> Maybe not someone you know, but someone. And people just say, well, could have been worse. Could have been killed by raider attacks or super mutants or feral ghouls. <laughs> they just give up. So they I want assume my readers to hear worse. what keeps you going. Maybe they'll find a little inspiration. Now, what would you like to say? Uh, oh. That one was a question. It's not like the last time where it was actually an answer. Uh, get revenge. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. Yeah, that was a great quote. It's going to take some Very time to put this all Blue. together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, we should probably get going. Thanks that was again. totally worth it. Did I get anything for that? Probably some XP. Yeah. All right, fine. She didn't even pay me. I'm the I'm the I'm the man in town. <laughs> I guess they probably don't really pay for. It. Well, some people get paid for interviews, but... It's big, loud, full of crap. Full of crap. You're right about that. Big, loud, and full of crap. Adventure or something? I guess you have a new option. The settlement of... Sanctuary. Oh. Talking about Sanctuary. Uh... I'll try to get the key. I don't know if I, I... I don't remember this quest. Where's Earl Sterling's house? Oh, wait. I can get it here? Oops, sorry, sir. Can't believe you eat that food. I threatened you with that gun. One worth buying in a dugout in. And that's the bulls. Yeah, it's gotta eat. I don't have the subtitles on for some reason. Oh, you know why? Because I haven't played this since I got my new computer. Display? There it is. General subtitles. I've got like the whole a real diamond city boy eats at the high definition pool. textures too, I think, but I feel like it doesn't, maybe it doesn't make that big of a difference. It's 50 gigabytes, so it should make a difference. Maybe I just don't notice. I don't know. We'll have to look at the old videos compared to this video. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a desk fan. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger. They'll probably try to kill me for it. You want to talk Who the heck is this guy? Who are you looking at, Edward? You there. I forgot you were there. We need to have a conversation. What is it? You know what? I know you. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle Do you think that I'm someone I'm out? Someone, someone I'm out? Do you think I'm someone else? Reward? I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You'll get paid Crap. the starting rate, like everybody else. Failure. If you turn out to be as useful as you claim, then we can talk about a raise. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. Oh, you're gonna give me a raise, you'll mostly all be right. working for me, <laughs> But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack. Oh, Cabot. right. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. I'll be right there in at least a thousand years. Jesus, bud. Oh, I, I missed the end of the story boy. because of that. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now let me know when you're ready to order. Natural circumstances, of course. Uh, Ed Ster Earl Sterling, even. Earl Sterling, you know an Earl Sterling? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. 
Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security oh. does nothing but yell easy. at me for asking about it. I got a bar to run. Let me know if you want something. No, that's what I wanted. Uh, not interested. Not looking to buy right now. Come back later, then. I'll never come back. You can't make me. I'm out of here, man. Uh. Hmm. He just gave me that. that. What a nice guy. He doesn't even know me. I have no idea who I am. I'm not even with Valentine. He's just like, yep, you must work for Valentine since you said Earl Sterling to me. He saves one or two people, Excuse me? And everyone forgets he's a freaking sin. Hell you say to me, buddy? You say something to me, buddy? That's a delicious looking steak you have there. You're lucky. I were in town, and then if I did that, I'd probably be murdered. Cause you're a real piece of crap, I tell you. And on top of that, Valentine moved to sanctuary. So what the heck are you talking about? It's seen better days, hasn't it? Listen, it's free stuff. You can't complain about free stuff. First lesson. Uh. Wow, make yourself a home, I guess. Alright. Ooh, a yellow fedora. Like the vault guy. Oh, desk fan, finally. Finally, a desk fan. What are we what am I looking for here? Maybe it's upstairs. Hello, Earl. Are you home? Oh, bobby pin. Surgical trays, I think, are aluminum. That's probably good. Okay. Um. Oops. Is there anything here? Hmm, what am I missing? Oh! This folder. Oh, and that was just a folder. Mega Surgery Center. Dr. Crocker, resident surgeon. Reconstruction surgery facial. Oh, I remember this quest now. Procedure to be performed upon clearance of final installment payment. Earl Sterling. Alright. That's it. Let's go down to this Mega Surgery Center and show them what this means. We're gonna find out too, because I don't know. Oh god. Must be the high resolution textures loading. Could take you hours. Centuries even. There we go. Didn't take that long. Is this the button to run in this one? Oh, it's this one. Oh yes, that button. Doctor Dr. Sun, eh? A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Is this about a facial reconstructive services? Yes. This is about Do you know anything facials. about this receipt? Please. I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Dr. Crocker handles those questions. Now, let's get back to talking about <laughs> do, do you get a lot of complaints or do you have to do a lot of refunds for your reconstructive surgeries? All right, Dr. Crocker. Doc Crocker. I'm a doctor. Not a secretary. Oh my god, sure this he'll guy. Be around eventually. Anyway, Can't believe you just said that to me. Back to your immediate medical requirements. Listen, I've got an immediate medical requirement. I'm punching right you in the no face. Effect. Tracks of blood. There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. You've got Don't an you awful lot of blood there? over here, sir. Dr. Sun. Doc. We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Don't you know I work for the police? Blood. Care to explain all this blood leading to the cellar? This is a medical facility. Uh, it's not unusual for there to be some blood here or there. My partner must have forgotten to clean up. Again. That's a lot now, of blood. I must insist we talk about your medical needs. 
God, you always want to talk. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? You know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? Because I have a poor perception skill and I need to go in there. I'm investigating a missing person. I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? Failed. You know, Doesn't basement. even care about missing people. The only people. thing you'll find down there is cold what stone and medical money? waste. So unless you have something pressing, I have other matters to attend to. Well, I have some money. Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? To visit our basement? Heck yeah, there we go, there okay. Be any harm. All right. Here, the key. Just don't touch anything down Actually, there. Actually, it's not too bad. All right, thanks, buddy. I promise I won't touch anything. Oh, Earl. You've... Maybe this guy. You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, no. Seems like naughty. you've really solved that You're problem not you have there. To be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Yeah, you seem to be doing really well at that whole fixing thing thing there, uh, Earl. Or, well, your, your name's not Earl, I guess. His name's Earl. What's your name? Uh. Easy now. Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk about Earl. I didn't mean to do it. You have to believe me. Doc Crocker is a brilliant surgeon. No one dies under his care. Except for that guy without the no head over there. Dies. They just walk away happy. Happy with my work. Happy with their new face. Not screaming. Not bleeding out onto the floor. Earl, he... He just didn't want to be happy. That must yeah, have been it. it's Earl's fault. You're under arrest. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Doc, be reasonable. No. Be reasonable, Doc. Don't make no me blow your brains out. out. Okay. That's what it's gotta be. That's what it's gotta be. What's going on here? Ooh, looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. Ooh. Oh. It appears that your doctor is I dead. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? I killed that guy. Uh, explain yourself, Doc. You owe me an explanation, Doctor. Your partner was cutting Earl Sterling up into little pieces. Cutting him up into... Why would he? Oh, wait. The facial reconstruction surgery. If he really did go through with it, and it went badly... Dr. Crocker was willing to go that far to protect his reputation? I mean, like, what? Which part of this is, like, a question right now? Uh, it's on your you hands! This happen, doctor. You could have stopped this. Can't believe you did this, right. Dr. Son. I should have known Dr. Crocker. Wasn't his name was Dr. Crocker. Medicine. You should have known. I should have known. He killed Earl. Please, just go. I'll send the report to security and clean up this mess. Maybe I should clean up this mess, Dr. Sun. No, I'm just kidding. You can live. Can I take any of this? No. No free stuff? But I killed a man. Don't you get free stuff when you kill a man? I thought that's how it worked. This is messed up, I tell you.